Hi, Michelle. How's it going today? Hey, Lindsay. I'm good. How are you? I'm feeling good. I am excited for the weekend. Always excited for the weekend. Yeah. Uh, Lindsay, you know what? This is a great time of year. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more. (laughs) Good. Yeah. I love the fall. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. We're filming this. Well, this is coming out a little later in the fall, but we're filming it. Yeah, but it's still going to be the fall. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) It's an amazing time, especially in the East. I think uh, in the mountain West where I live, it's not really, there really isn't a fall. Oh, yeah? Yeah, there's like a week of fall. You go from summer to winter. It's just (sighs) crazy. But here, there's a lovely fall, and I really just relish it. (laughs) (laughs) That's funny, because I think that people here still say that there's not much of a fall, that it does just kind of get cold all of a sudden. But yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to kind of but it, but it does exist. It's an, it's not because you have to realize it when you're in it. Uh, because I think why people think it's not there is because it gets cold kind of suddenly, but it's not the coldest, and that's the fall. <laughs> right, for sure. And fall's kind of great because it has all these things that uh, signify fall that are just yeah. ritualistic, like um, pumpkin spice latte yeah, even though yeah, I don't yeah, drink yeah. that drink I don't either people love it and then you know like boots and sweaters <laughs> and flannel shirts all the typical things that are becoming cliches apple picking and love pumpkin them. apple and picking pumpkin all the all, like the spice the cinnamon smells the candles yeah. there's so apple much. pie it's yeah. like every, mostly yes. food <laughs> yeah apple, yeah exactly I so <laughs> <laughs> um well Lindsay today we have a great listener question not about the fall okay. um but I'm glad that we had that talk that was um, nice. <laughs> <laughs> really got me into the spirit um so guys but before we get into the le- uh, into the question we want to remind you to hit follow wherever you are listening to all ears english because the episodes will come straight to your doorstep yeah just makes it easier you know i listen to the episodes the shows that are actually in my queue that i am following because they update every day for me Instead of going and searching for the show, just let us drop right into your phone, guys. Good stuff. Hit that follow button now. So, Michelle, shall I read the question? Please do. Please read Vivian's question. Thanks, Vivian. I love our listener questions. I love when we Me get too. Oh, Love it. Hello, Lindsay and Michelle. I'm Vivian from Taiwan. Three years ago, I started listening to All Ears English. Since then, I've become a diehard fan of yours. Aww. Oh, that is so Thank wonderful. you. <laughs> That is so great. Thank you, Vivian. I'm writing to thank you for making high quality episodes. Looking back, it's obvious that much progress has been made on my journey of learning English. Big thanks to you. Michelle, that's what we try to do, right? We want our listeners to learn, but but not necessarily, not have it feel like work. It feels like fun. Feels like play. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much, Vivian. That's a really nice compliment. And we're happy to be there for you. Yeah, we're here for you. So, Besides, I want to ask a question. I've heard people saying, I can't agree with you more. I'm curious if there are any other ways we can show our support through our words. Thanks in advance. I'm looking forward to hearing uh, your answer to my question. Best regards, Vivian. Love Good. it. Yeah. Yeah. This this is a fun one. Um, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm excited about I like when we kind of can focus on one specific expression. So Love it. looking forward to talking about it. Um, Lindsay, we have another episode, a recent episode of All Ears English um, mm-hmm. about corporate speak. Uh, mm-hmm. So that's episode 2087. Should you minimize your corporate speak? Because I actually think that this could be used uh, in the corporate world as well. Um, it's, yeah. it's, uh, bringing corporate jargon down to earth. So definitely listen to that episode as well. Yeah, that was a really fun episode where we report back on just listening into a corporate call and exactly what we heard, guys. So go check out that Ooh, episode. Eavesdropping. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What what are we getting into today to answer Vivian's question? Okay. So interestingly enough, I I feel like I don't hear I can't agree with you more quite as much. Uh, you can say I can't agree with you more, but I feel like I hear I couldn't agree with you more yeah. What do you think? I do agree, Michelle. Yeah. I couldn't I couldn't agree with you more, Michelle. 
<laughs> <laughs> Yay! Okay. <laughs> um, people might just say, I couldn't agree more. Um, that's more just generally agreeing, not necessarily focused on the specific person, but here we are going to focus on it. I couldn't agree with you more. Now, again, you can say, oh, I can't agree with you more, but I just feel like it's more common to say couldn't. And yeah. so we're going to focus on that today. Mm-hmm. I think that's more of a chunk. So just guys, just take, you know, take the shortcuts, learn the chunks, go with the one we use the most. I couldn't agree with you more and just kind of ditch the other one. That's what I would recommend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just, just keep it simple. Um, yeah. Keep it simple. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um, people, I mean, this is just a very common expression. Um, but Lindsay, what does it mean? It's kind of confusing if you just hear it thrown out. I couldn't agree just, with you more. Does that mean you do agree or you don't? Yeah. Yeah. It means that you agree with someone so much that there is no way to agree more, to increase the amount that you agree. So if, if you stop, sometimes these are confusing. If you stop to think about them, they make, it makes it harder, you know? Yeah. That's why we just want to learn the chunk to understand, harder to understand exactly what it means. So it's a way to say that you just really agree. It's just being more emphatic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like there, and sometimes there are certain expressions similar to this, like I could or I couldn't care less. And so people that tend one to, can be confusing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> argue about them. But I think that this one is pretty much, you know, uniform agreement yeah. that this means you really agree. Mm-hmm. With yeah, someone. it's actually pretty straightforward. So exactly we're play a little game, love games. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to throw out some opinions. All and right. these are my real opinions. And I am going to see if Lindsay couldn't agree more or if she doesn't really agree. So mm-hmm. I think I know all the answers on. Yeah. These, but... <laughs> okay, Lindsay, chocolate chip cookies are the most delicious dessert. Michelle, I'm not with you on that one. I'm not with you on that one. <laughs> no, no I'm not is with the best you. Dessert. We could debate this until the end. Like we can keep debating this forever. We've been working. Yeah. I mean, almost ten years of debate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why would you take a cookie when you could have a beautiful ice cream cone? <laughs> but a warm, a warm chocolate no. chip cookie. Come on. Mm-mm. They're too hit or miss. They're too hit or miss. I've had a lot of bad cookies or just very average cookies. Uh-huh. Usually, ice cream is good i mean it's just it's cream it's made with cream you know it's just good but i <laughs> wait like what's I your favorite love... flavor again it's chocolate with well it's a few things like chocolate with big brownie chunks or chocolate oh. with peanut butter chunks anything chunky and intense is what i like nice okay yeah all right well all right agree to disagree but agree um to disagree. <laughs> but i do love ice cream too and in fact i'm developing a new love for ice cream recently but i still really? say cookie is the best yeah <laughs> <laughs> well let me ask you now let's see what okay. what you think uh spring and fall are the best seasons i'm gonna say i couldn't agree with you more mm, okay yeah yeah i personally think that fall and summer are the best seasons fall and summer yeah Yeah. i mean i say i couldn't agree with you more but i actually the the only scene that i really just don't like is winter so other than that the frustrating thing about spring is you're so sick of being cold yeah and it's like you you're like come on like i want it to be warm i want it to be warm and so yeah and then, and then it plays all these tricks on you. Right. And then you'll have a beautiful day. It'll be 80 degrees. And then the next week it'll snow. And it's yeah. just too much of a tease. And then all of a sudden it's summer. So I think summer and fall <laughs> are where it's at. But, 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 but I like spring because there's a lot of hope and you're just getting started there on good weather for a while. So or, or that smell yeah. in the air and, and spring evenings when you're like, I smell summer, I smell warm weather. It's you can smell it. It's a very visceral season. Yeah. So, yeah. The only thing I don't like about fall is then you know that winter's coming and you know that the clocks are going to change and that you're going to be depressed. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. For sure. For sure. Yeah. That's all right. Um, Okay. Mm -hmm. And here is the last one. So, the most fun thing to do is travel. I couldn't agree with you more on that one, Michelle. We are on the same page when it comes to that. The best way to open your mind and just feel refreshed, you know, is travel. Absolutely. Good. Yeah. All right, Michelle. So, Tell us about this phrase. I couldn't agree with you more. Can we use this at work? Is it informal? Is it formal? What do we think? I think it's either. I mean, I I, I think you can use it anywhere. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. I agree. There's nothing, there's nothing like street language about it, right? Mm-hmm. So you can get away with it really in any context. How does yeah. it make the speaker feel? Um, if if you respond this way, you know, if I say I think 
oh, I think uh, this neighborhood is not as great as it used to be, right? And Mm -hmm. you say, I couldn't agree with you more. What, how do I feel? I think you feel validated. I think mm-hmm. um, I think you feel connected. Um, yep. I think especially with work, if somebody or an idea if, that you come up with, oh, I think we should do this because this and this, and somebody says, oh, I couldn't agree with you more, it, you kind of feel like, oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm nice. wonderful. Like, I do. It feels nice. It feels <laughs> nice. Yeah. I would say just with one caveat to that, don't throw it around just to kind of please people no. or play politics at work, right? Make sure you truly believe that. Save it for very special situations. Because at work, I think most of the time, if you're in a brainstorming meeting, you might kind of agree with someone, but you're not completely in agreement with people. You have your own opinions, right? Yeah. So don't just say it to play politics. People will see through that right away. Okay. Right. And that's important. I think uh, an important distinction for the workplace. But I think, you know, like with the ice cream or travel, I think you can throw it around more frequently. Like it's not going to. Yeah. Yeah. I th- for I, sure. I think it's more like, but, but if it's somebody's idea and you don't really agree and you're just trying to make them feel good, you know, we, we want to be honest. But at the same time, as we say frequently on the show, don't use this all the time. Yeah, for sure. What else, Michelle? What else? For, for an example, what do you think? Yes. Okay. So um, I couldn't agree with you more that the design element is important, but unfortunately it's not in the budget. Mm. So this is different. So tell, what do you think about that? I like this as a transition. So mm-hmm. obviously there's been a conversation that's happened maybe another day. Maybe we're picking up the topic again for a new, a new edition of our conversation about a renovation of a home, for example, mm-hmm. or maybe a new project at work. Um, and so, it, yeah, that's, this is a good way to start. You're validating what someone has said, yes. but th- then you're disagreeing. So I like it. It's a connection skill. Right. So it's not only it can be used in other ways than just Lindsay says, I like travel and I say, I couldn't agree with you more. It can also be used as a connector to introduce another idea. Yes. I love it. I love it. Um, What are some other things that we might say? There's lots here. And this Mm -hmm. is really important. Um, This is one of those major connection skills, probably on our list of the top 20 that do matter to be able Mm -hmm. to know how to say this. So it's, here's the first one, Michelle. I wholeheartedly agree, right? I wholeheartedly Mm -hmm. agree. Miley Cyrus is underrated. (laughs) (laughs) I don't really know Miley Cyrus very well. I I, I don't, I don't either. I just, I just, I probably had her, I probably, she came on my uh <laughs> alexa or something radio, when I was, when were... <laughs> yeah probably when i was planning this episode are you, um, are you a taylor swift fan michelle good question um no are you not really no i, I think i kind of passed i don't know i think maybe i missed the boat when it comes to taylor swift i just never caught on i never got into it her music is catchy i will say yes when um, i hear a song yeah. that i like i'm like oh i like to but i'm not oh i'm no, not no. a swifty like i didn't go to her <laughs> concert i didn't right, right, right. you know yeah, it's uh, same here i don't i don't have I don't love her. I don't have a problem with her. She's just kind of there and I respect her as an artist, but I don't, it's not, she's not like my favorite. My favorite is pink. Oh, I love pink. Yeah. We've talked about pink. Uh, (laughs) Yeah. yeah, We're on the same page with that. Yeah. No, not, we're not Swifties here, but we don't have any, we, we, we respect her as an artist. I like that. That's a good way to say it. Okay. A little off topic. What else? <laughs> what else? Um, all right. So another thing you could say is we are completely in sync on this. So mm-hmm. we are completely in sync with uh, on this. Uh, let's keep going with the idea. Yeah. And we are completely in sync on this. This is good. And again, it's validating when you hear this, especially at work, as long as you know that person is really in sync. Mm-hmm. Um, and another day, I think we can come, we can we can talk about like syncing up with someone as another important phrase for the office, mm. but that'll be another episode that we'll come back to maybe yeah. on business English. So guys, yeah, follow yeah, yeah. that show. Yeah. Um, next one, we are in agreement, right? Mm-hmm. Good. Then we're in agreement. We'll leave next Saturday. So this feels mm-hmm. a little formal, feels like a lot to say, right? <laughs> if it's like your family, you might not bother to say this no. so formally. Yeah. Right. True. That's a more formal one. And then the last one is just a kind of a fun one. Same mind. (laughs) Cool. I actually don't know this one. I like this. 
Oh, okay. So like if uh, same mind. Okay. <laughs> same mind. I love that show too. It's the best. So yeah. if somebody re- you really agree with someone or I mean you've heard like same uh um great minds think alike. Yes. Yes. So that I feel I've like heard. that's where it comes nice. from like oh okay. like, same mind me too you know so you could try oh. that as well. well. I love when I learn new things on Allers English. It happens all oh. the time. <laughs> <laughs> same <And> here. <laughs> I want to add one to a bonus because um I've said it three or four times we're on the same page. Yes. That's a great one. Yeah. Yes. It's going to yes. be, this is going to be on the app, guys, in the personal power li- list. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. Well, do we have a takeaway for today for our listeners? Whew. Well, this was a great question um, about this very specific, uh, you know, expression, um, this yep. chunk that we use. It's a great way to connect with someone and make them feel excited. Wow, someone agrees with me or somebody likes my idea. However, yeah. you want to use it in an honest way. Um, to make sure that you're sincere because otherwise people will be able to pick up on that after a while. Yeah. Don't play politics, whether it's at work or whether it's like in your like neighborhood association, don't be that person, right? Uh, Just say what you think. And if you do really wholeheartedly agree, say the phrase, I couldn't agree with you more. I would suggest ditching. I can't, what what was the other one? Yeah, I I can't, can't agree, agree with, with you more. I would oh, yeah. leave that one behind and from today yeah. move forward with I couldn't agree with you more. Just remember it as a chunk, guys. Definitely. Good for connection. All right. All right. Well, this was great, Lindsay. This was fun. And thanks again to our listener for that great question. Yeah. Thanks to our listener and hit follow, guys, on All Ears English so you don't miss a single episode. We'll see you in the next one. Michelle, you have a good rest of your day. You too, Lindsay. Bye. 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 